Hi, I'm Mel Pickup, Chief Executive of Bradford Teaching Hospitals, and welcome to the weekly news roundup from across the Trust. Now, before we share our latest news, on behalf of all my colleagues at the Trust, I'd like to say how deeply shocked and saddened I was to hear about the tragic killing of Conservative MP Sir David Amos. We send our love and our deepest sympathies to all his family. So this week, I'm in our pharmacy department here at Bradford Royal Infirmary because Tuesday was Pharmacy Technicians Day, the perfect opportunity to celebrate a pivotal group of people who are critical to our patients' recovery. Also today, how electronic patient letters have revolutionised our appointment system. And with winter just around the corner, Bradford Hospital's charity launches this year's Snowflake Appeal. But first, Following National Hate Crime Awareness Week last week, we want to assure our staff, patients and our communities that here at the Trust we're doing everything we can to make our hospitals safe places to be. And we want anyone who is the victim of hate crime to feel confident enough to report it. Here's Charles Dakers, Director of Bradford Hate Crime Alliance and our Head of Diversity Inclusion here at the Trust, Kes Hyatt, to explain more. A hate crime is any behaviour that is perceived by the individual to be deliberately harmful or damaging, either physically, emotionally, mentally. It is important to report hate crime. You can report it online. You can report it using a 101 or 999. After a hate crime is reported, we do kind of look at that. So either the police will do it if you've reported it to police or Bradford Hate Crime Alliance will do it. And we will work in partnership to try to resolve the problem or situation. We know that hate crime can have a devastating impact um, on our staff, our patients and the wider communities that we serve. It often feels leaving people feeling very frightened and um, confused in their experience. Any staff member or any patient being a victim of hate crime will be supported and will be encouraged to report their hate crime to the police. Thank you both and what important messages to deliver. Now, just over a year ago at the Trust, we introduced new digital letters and text messaging services that allows patients to view and download their appointment letters instantly and to make changes without even having to ring us. Saving on all this paper so far is the equivalent of saving more than 17 trees from being felled. And there's a huge positive environmental impact of not printing and posting, helping to create a greener NHS and environment for all of us. Here's Service Improvement Lead, Andrew Mullen, to tell us more. Digital letters are allowing patients to get their letter on the same day. It's not for everybody, so if patients don't want to view their letter online, it automatically prints and posts. But 60% of patients are viewing the letter online, and they're getting it on the same day that we book the appointment. We've sent out well over half a million digital letters now in our first year. More than 300,000 of these letters have been viewed online, which shows that it works for patients. It's saving the trust over £100,000 a year as well. Digital letters are also saving over six tonnes of CO2 a year at Bradford Teaching Hospitals, and that's the equivalent of planting nearly 300 trees. It's been a great first year for digital letters at Bradford Teaching Hospitals, working in partnership with Cinetech and Dr. Doctor, but there's more to do. We, in 2022, we're going to be looking at our other half a million letters to get them digital as well. Thank you, Andrew. What a great example of how the Trust continues to innovate and to look after our environment. Now let's take a look around the rest of the Trust to see what other news has been making the headlines. We do a variety of roles around the hospital, including the dispensary systems, the aseptic suite. We had ward-based pharmacy technicians and we have pharmacy technicians and assistants in stores. Without them, we wouldn't be able to make sure patients get safe medicines. We wouldn't be able to make sure patients know how to take their medicines safely. We wouldn't be able to ensure that patients got the right medication at the time that they need it.
Congratulations to Rupert on getting so far in these prestigious awards. Finally, I can hardly believe it, but it is that time of year again when our very own Bradford Hospital charity launches its winter appeal. Once again, we'll be seeing beautiful snowflakes settle on our buildings, and that's all thanks to the unstinting generosity of local businesses and kind individuals, kind-hearted people just like you. Here's Head of Fundraising, Hayley Collis, to tell us more about the appeal. We raised just over £12,000 last year. We hope to do the same again this year and beat that target. It'd be wonderful if we could. This is an opportunity for businesses, schools and individuals to sponsor a snowflake to help us provide some funding for the projects that we have in the hospital. One of the big projects is making sure that children in hospital are well looked after during the festive period. So that might mean a gift on Christmas Day or it could mean uh, some extra funding towards our appeals, such as the, the big neonatal appeal. The snowflakes that adorned our hospitals last year helped spread some joy and some magic for both our NHS staff and the patients. So we're really looking forward to hearing from even more sponsors this year so we can support even more projects. Thank you so much, Hayley. And if you or your organisation would like to sponsor a snowflake, you can find out more details on the charity's website. Well, that's about it for this week. As always, you can find out our latest news and updates on the usual social media platforms, Twitter, LinkedIn and Facebook. But just one final heartfelt plea from me. COVID is still very much with us. So please, please get your booster when you're called. And if you haven't had the first and second vaccines yet, please do go and get them as soon as you can. The vaccine is vital in protecting yourself and all those you love. Until I see you again next time, do take care and be kind to each other. Bye for now.